Hi, my name is Patrick McMaster. I own 719 Walnut Avenue. You're here because you uh, drove by and saw my sign or, or word of mouth and are probably wondering why I'm making a special offer to people who live in Claritin and Elizabeth and Glassport and McKeesport. Um, well, I'm, I'm going to sell my house. There's no question about that. I'm, I'm moving in with my partner and I'm moving on with my life. And I don't want to sell my house to one of these wholesalers which dominate the market right now, but I will if I have to. Um, so that's why I'm, I'm, I'm giving a special offer. I'm actually offering it for what I wanted to pay for the house, 42,000, um, instead of I paid 43,000 for it. I bought it from a wholesaler. If I'm forced to sell it to a wholesaler, it's, it's almost certainly going to become a rental. And uh, I love this place. I've come to love it. I've, I've lived here for two years. And, uh, you know, I want to I wanna see a, a family move into it or a, a homeowner, um, not renters. Uh, um, so my house isn't quite ready, but I'm only going to leave it on the market here uh, for another week or so before I put it on the MLS or just go directly to a, to a wholesaler. Um, so it's not completely cleaned out. Uh, it, it, it'll give you a good enough view of what's there for 42,000. Uh, it's a really good deal. I bought all new appliances and uh, did, did quite a bit of uh, work to it. So let's, let's go on the tour. So in case you did hear about this from word of mouth, I just wanted to show you how close we are to the park. There was a uh, survey crew here yesterday. They're going to be resurfacing all of the uh, 885. There's the marks, I guess it's coming down to here. But uh, this is the restaurant that just sold. Uh, they had to sell it fast for cash. Um, it's, it's got a really nice little restaurant in there. Um, I hope they, they do. So this is my house. That's the entrance to the basement. Uh, property goes to here and up. Show you the backyard a little bit. This is a stone path I put in. A bamboo. So these are the two parking spaces. It's a solid stone. The property comes to this corner right here. Uh, I've just started some more grass over in here and these are sunflowers which are getting ready to to go like crazy um, so that's the Persian silk tree and you can see the stones on the river um, this is uh, I just pulled this out a little bit and uh, this is a, a yugal pal it's too much to explain, but uh, creates an environment for plants. These are just stones I pulled out of the yard. And this side, not very exciting this side. But, uh, This is the mud room or sun room. 
It's got skylights in it. And I put the fridge out here. Well, it's getting empty. Freezer's on the bottom. I still have to clean everything. and So, you know, I'm running behind schedule a little bit. So I'd rather it be empty, but there's the new stove and uh, Samsung dishwasher. Uh, this was a door I just made into a, uh, a counter. And this is uh, several attempts and redos and um, with kinds of uh, concrete and paint and I did this in my last place it's cheap uh, but it works really well uh, and this is a big sink I installed I moved the sink that was here downstairs uh, all the radiators work this is the dining room oh, let me widen widen it here ah that's much better. So, sorry about the tight view coming in here. It's an LED light. So the radiator is under the table here. If this is a proper dining room, it'd probably be in the middle. And um, if I can't sell it <laughs> to a wholesaler or on the market and I have to rent it, I, I'm gonna be taking this out. But it's a wood-burning stove. Um, yeah, I wouldn't, but whatever, uh, it's nice. Uh, this was a rickety fan uh, that I, I removed. It was pretty dangerous. So I, uh, um, I just, I installed that uh, and put lights up. I painted in this corner, but this would be the living room. My point is uh, you would need to get on an electrician to put a, put a, to rewire that. Um, or definitely not put a fan back in without rewiring it. But this is the living room. And these doors work. So you can keep it cozy in there, block off sound or whatnot. And it's all oak. It's uh, original, original doors. This comes out and this is original too. Shit the ward way. So this is the porch. It's enclosed. Neighbors. It's the view of the pizza shop. Before I decided I was going to move in with my partner, I was about ready to do the bathroom, which needs to be done still. This is the master bedroom. I uh, refinished all of the, uh, the trim in here. And let's see on the outside. Radiators. So that's, oh, the closet. <laughs> the closet, it's almost 100 years old. Um, so uh, things are a little, a little quirky. It's a, it's a very shallow closet. I redid this one um, in the, uh, the second bedroom. Um, <laughs> it still had the original wallpaper and uh, I know it's probably not everyone's taste, but uh, I wanted to keep it for me. So this is the second bedroom. And I actually used this as a bedroom for a while. It's really cozy, but um, people here used it as storage. 
um, but it could be an office or a tiny bedroom. Oh. The bathroom. <laughs> yeah, I have plans of ripping that drop ceiling out and I removed this to have access to the plumbing, but was going to install a new tub. The toilet's okay. And the sink is good. Got a nice built-in medicine cabinet. And we will go down the stairs and conclude the tour. This is the front door. I put um, privacy film on, on all these windows so people can't look in during the day. And upstairs I put, on the south side, I put a, I put heat ejecting film. Um, that is a hot tub getting ready to be moved. Um, so the panel, the new 100 amp panels behind there. It's zoned uh, multi-use, so this could be a um, this could be a storefront. And here's the stacked washer and dryer that I installed. Um, gas, the sink that I moved from upstairs, I put down here, and the same thing. They're just um, you know. Uh, storage shelves and these are scavenged uh, doors closet doors um, this will stay could use new filters but that's an RO filter um, I designed the uh, link trap for the washer and dryer and uh, here's the cool cellar it's been waterproofed it was leaking right there when I bought the place and it hasn't Hasn't leaked since. Um, so lots of storage space. Uh, this is the hot water heater, the ventless gas heater that I installed, which um, does a nice, really nice job. Here's the 20-ish year old uh, S-line condensing boiler. Um, that's that's the uh, questionable asset. If that would, if that would go, it would uh, be seven grand to replace. So that's just something to keep in mind. You should have a uh, forty-two for the place and seven reserved, uh, just in case that goes. But it heats fine now. Uh, just got to clean the filter at the beginning of the season and bleed the radiators, and it's been working fine. But thanks for coming along for the tour.